you know, everybody is doing his or her own thing. Yeah. So you too have to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So and this life, you don't have to put your eyes on maybe your family member, your mom, your dad. No, you have to fight. You have mm -hmm. to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. But you know, Ghana here, if you're a lady and you don't have protocol, you don't have connection. If you if you want to work, it's not easy for you. It wasn't be easy at all. Wow. Unless you I have know. the connection or you have the protocols. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking me out. This is a course, Simpson. Um, it's a wonderful day here in Canada. Uh, you already know that I come from Ghana, the beautiful Africa, where I know most of us would love to visit. Anyway, this video, this interview is being sponsored by Ekis Possibility Consult. So if you need to um, get an um, airport pickup or airport drop off in and around Ghana, uh, kindly contact the numbers or the email address down there. And uh, you will be fetched with all the information that you need to know. Uh, in as much as we want to learn about the, the culture of both Africans in diaspora and Africans in the motherland, uh, we would have to share some of the stories. We would have to talk to some people who are either home or away. We would have to know what exactly is going on in Ghana. So I am very fortunate to have a sister from Ghana, currently living in Ghana, who said, Echo, I like what you are doing. I like you sharing about Africa to our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. And I'll have something that I want to talk about. I want to share as well as an African uh, lady or a woman born and bred in Africa who has never traveled anywhere before. And some of the things that she goes through as an African uh, living in Ghana. She said, Echo, I want to share with people. I really want to talk to people about it. So today I have here with me, um, Adjoska. Adjoska, what's your name? What's your name? I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to talk to you about your TV. So uh, she's called uh, Adjoska. Adjo, how are you doing? I'm fine, you? Uh, by the grace of God, we are just, you know, managing the, the cold weather. How is, how is the weather in Ghana right now? Very hot, very eh? Hot. Very, very hot. <laughs> Charlie, I know, I know. I mean, I've experienced that for some few weeks before I came here, so I know how the weather and everything is like. Now, let's go straight to the point. Uh, how is life in Ghana right now for Ajuasika? Or before that, before that, tell us a little bit about Ajuasika, <laughs> how many years you've lived in Ghana and where you are currently doing. Okay, actually, life is not easy in Ghana, you know. And where I am right now is very, very difficult. You know, I was born here, I live here, school here, everything. I mean, I'm from here, so it's not easy. So, but we are trying. You're trying. Tell, tell us about your school. Where did you, which school did you go to? And then uh, what was the last school you attended? Okay, actually, I turned to at AMU Zion mm -hmm. and, you know, I completed JHS over there. I went mm -hmm. to senior high school at Kojari Anamabo. Oh, okay. So, okay, Anamabo people, what, what, course, what course did you study? Home economics. So you were cooking or, 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 or sewing? Cooking. So you can cook, pa? Pa, 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 pa. Eh. <laughs> Into me, Minya, Minya, African American, being be as an amour day, Pupu Bibi, Pupu Bibi, man, able to my and fine. Ah, trust me now. Why not? <laughs> so I asked her if, if I should give her a typical African American man to cook for him, is she gonna do it? She said, Pa, she's gonna do it. Anyway, let's go straight to the point. Uh, I have lived in Ghana by myself too. And I still live in Ghana. I'm just here for some few days and, and then come back. What, how, how, do, are you working now? I'm not working, I'm home. 
Why are you not working? Because you, you went through senior high school, you did home economics, you can cook. So why don't you find something like set up a business or BB? Oh, actually, it's not easy. You know, I've been trying to, you know, find something to do for myself, maybe a shop or something. You know, yeah. after senior high school, I went to, you know, learn how to do wigs. Wigs, And okay. makeup and stuff. So I'm planning to, you know, open a shop for myself, but there is no help, no, there is no money in the system. Everything, you know, mess up, up and down. So I'm just home. I'm not doing right now. Wow. So you, you think uh, you are not getting the support that you need to have in terms of financial support to, to start your own business, even, even now that you have the skills? Yeah, yeah, you no. Know, when someone someone will promise you, maybe I will help you, but later on, you know, it will turn a story, and sometimes I don't want that. So I. What kind of stories? I be in love. I be in love. Eh, those those stories, eh? Those stories. No, no, no. Go ahead and tell us one. I mean, people want to know because. Like, like I, I, I mentioned earlier, I feel like there are certain things that other, other people, especially, the, the focus for me is the African diaspora who are out there. Sometimes they don't know some of the things that we go through in, in the motherland, right? And they want to learn the same way we also want to learn. So what are some of the issues you've been facing? Maybe when somebody says, oh, I want to help you. And then later there are stories. What, what story? Just tell us one. Okay, maybe someone will meet you. Oh, you are a nice girl. What do you do for a living? Maybe you will tell you will tell him your story. Okay, mm -hmm. he will accept it. But later on, he will demand for sex. You know, if not sex, I mean, let me put it that way, sex. So if you are not ready, you know, you have to stay somewhere, think about yourself, or maybe do one or two things to support yourself. But actually, if you want to do something, crap, you know, you will need help. Definitely, you will need help from mm. someone. Mm. Definitely, you will need help from someone. But so, 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 a is there in one and one bay because in Kofu Peda Wabo or Peda when you dance, on. yeah, something like that. And, and, and uh, someone will ask, Obi Bakade, doesn't she have a family? Don't you have parents who are supposed to support you in Ghana? Like something. There, there must be family members, or you don't. Oh, me particularly, I don't have parents. You know, my grandma is old, and my siblings are, you know, everybody is doing his or her own thing. Yeah. So you two have to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, and this life, you don't have to put your eyes on maybe your family member, your mom, your dad. No, you have to fight. You have mm -hmm. to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. But you know, Ghana here, if you're a lady and you don't have protocol, you don't have connection, if you, if you want to work, it's not easy for you. It wouldn't be easy at all. Wow. Easy at all. Unless you I have know. the connection or you have the protocols. Mm -hmm. so. And 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 these are some of so so you think these are some of the issues that other women like yourself, other ladies like yourself are facing? Yeah. Yeah. Because we young girls eh, we've been facing a lot of problems when it comes to financial, maybe even and one thing, I want to tell you one thing, even the rent, mm -hmm. rent self, it's killing us. Mm -hmm. Even the rent self is killing, it's killing us. Because sometimes uh, maybe you are not working, but you have a few money you want to rent. Mm -hmm. But when you went there, the landlord or the landlady will take two years, three years. It's not easy. And every month, you, so you have to pay a light bill, water bill. You have to buy a cloth for yourself. You have to feed yourself. If you don't have the support, if you don't have the support, it's not easy. Wow. It's not easy in Ghana at all. As I'm talking to you, things are very difficult and hard. 
each and every day. So. Hmm. So so right now, right now, like things are hard. Uh, you have to pay. So those of us who are who are watching us from other countries, in in Ghana, if you need to rent a place, you can't do it monthly. You have to do it either one year, two years. Some yes. will even go three years as far as yeah, yes. number of years. Yeah. And 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 that is the issue that we are because if you don't have that money and you are now coming up, you want to develop yourself as a lady and you don't have this, how then do you... So it's really difficult for our ladies in Ghana. And the yeah. same thing for the for the men. Yeah, the same thing for the men, some of them. You know, that's why this time around, the young guys in Ghana are doing a lot of, you know, a lot of things. You know, some, some of them are scamming, some of them are robbing, you know, a lot, a lot. Wow. So if 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 so you are watching me, this, mm -hmm. I'm planning mm -hmm. maybe I will leave Ghana. You leave Ghana and go where? Ah, maybe I'll go outside. You know, maybe God will God will help me. You know, so maybe I'm planning I will, I will live here. I will leave Ghana seriously. But uh, but each and every day things are going high and high and high. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, you, 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 the, the, the living Ghana aspect, I'll come back to it. Okay. <laughs> the living Ghana aspect, I'll come back to it. But then for now, what are you, like, okay, you've already mentioned that you want to start a business, maybe open a small shop, like where you can be doing nails and other stuff like that. So in, in, in your imagination, how much do you think you will need? As, as a lady right now in Ghana, how much do you think you will need from the beginning, you know, getting a space, putting all those, um, I mean, fixing it, and then buying the whatever you need, the equipment, how much do you think you will need in total? Echo, echo, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot, because, you know, right now, everything is expensive. Right, right now, everything is expensive. So someone can promise you, oh, I will support you with five thousand. Maybe he or she will give you the five thousand. But when you get to the market, everything's changed. Mm -hmm. The five thousand will not reach anywhere. Mm -hmm. But you can call the person and maybe tell the person that, oh, the five thousand you gave it to me doesn't reach anywhere. You can't do that. Yeah. Because the person so, so is supporting. Yeah, so so in 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 general, you just give give an idea if you want to open a cosmetic okay, shop. Right now, that is to, right now. If you want to open a shop, mm -hmm. at least you have to get from ten thousand going. Okay, ten thousand going. Open a shop, ten thousand okay. going. Ten thousand Ghana even, cities going. Even ten thousand, even ten thousand Ghana is to be prime. Maybe you have the container, or you have a a small maybe. Uh, one room, like you want to use that room or that container, you have that the beginning already. Okay. If you okay. don't have anything, if you don't have the container or you don't have any shop, mm -hmm. I don't think even the ten thousand, you know, will solve the problem. <laughs> so wait, let me let me let people who are watching right now, especially in the diaspora, know the amount of uh, I mean the equivalent of ten thousand in us dollars so ten thousand ghana cities let's assume it's ten thousand ghana cities that's it that is about almost six hundred and twenty dollars so for someone in ghana who is looking at opening her own cosmetic shop even even with this amount she's saying that that is when she already has the store okay yeah. and now the things that you have to go and buy yeah, I, I think it will be expensive because even buying those dryer thing and the nail thing and then the chairs, then the tables, then the Charlie. You know, each and every day, different design. So, mm -hmm. like, you buy, 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 buy. Each and every day, you buy different stuff. Each and every day, you go to market, you see maybe a uh, polish. You, maybe the polish is nice. The next day, you go and make it nicer than the one you bought mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. so when it comes to that 
beauty aspect now it's not easy yeah. it's expensive eh? it's very very expensive and i know even i've been hearing that even here in canada uh people who do nails and makeup thing they earn a lot of money here because yeah. it's 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 in the order of the day most women want to look nice unlike me i, I can just leave this one for like years and i don't care but you women with the, i can see you have your nail how much how much did you pay for the nails this one yes <laughs> 50 cities okay so that is wait, wait wait let me let me tell people who are in america in canada uk how much you paid for that so 50 cities in dollars that is three dollars so she paid just three dollars for this so that's that is how cheap it could be here but when setting it up it's expensive so tell us more um right now that you're not working you want to do this uh, how do you seek to get support to do it okay hmm. this question it's still, it's still it's, it still boils down to people when you go to people they'll be asking you for they want to have sex with you before yes or... yes if even yesterday even mm -hmm. yesterday mm -hmm. you know where i live right now i wanted to pack out so okay. i go in new apartments and i told this person okay i go in new apartment so please can you support me you know this person is okay and how much do you know I say, oh any amount you feel mm -hmm. like any I want. I don't want to be a selfish. Maybe okay. I need ten thousand. I need this. I need no any amount from your heart. Mm -hmm. I was so. Oh okay. I'll call you. And you know today I call him and said, oh he said I should call you. Okay. Mm, I will invite you over. <laughs> invite you for what? <laughs> Brother, we have the move. We have mobile body across all. Across the world, so yeah. you for what? You understand? Yeah. He's not ready. Definitely, he will need something before. Mm -hmm. So, okay, it's not easy. It's mm -hmm. not easy. So, so right now, if 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 you had the president of Ghana standing in front of you, mm -hmm. and other leaders standing in front of you, Eben Eben Kasa Eba Sam Nebakachan often. Okay. What I will tell President of Ghana that we ladies, especially we ladies, we are suffering a lot. You know, mm -hmm. working at government office, mm -hmm. they will sleep, the bosses will sleep with you, they you know. Uh, the secretaries will sleep with you before we give you maybe even you know even the first day that you went there they mm -hmm. will request for that after you give your body to him later on he will come back and demand more mm -hmm. maybe he would he would take you as maybe a sex machine or something like that oh yeah it happens there. Yeah. You have first opportunity, you will come again, you will come again. Okay, maybe you will sit, maybe sometimes you, you will talk to yourself that, okay, I don't want to do anything again. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, I can't continue. And mm -hmm. the person will come and say, okay, if you, if you can't continue, then you have to go and start home. <laughs> He's so, talking to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so what will you tell the person? You your body to him. To him, yeah. It will touch you. So I'll mm -hmm. tell President of Canada, okay, we ladies know. Let me on there in normal, like, in Easy. normal, I don't know how to put it. On go in normal, you know, yeah. especially the rent. You know, mm -hmm. we have so many girls that uh, want to make rent. They can't rent. Yeah. They can't rent because they are not working. Mm -hmm. they, are, they don't have anyone to support. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, when you travel to Accra, Kumasi, Takadi, you see so many girls sleeping, you know, each and every lady in Ghana here have a boyfriend. So you have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Me, I'm trying for myself. Though sometimes okay. I get support, but sometimes people, you know, demand for something. But you will get someone, uh, maybe the person have a good heart. Okay. 
he or she will support you without demanding anything. Mm. Yeah, but some of some of the girls outside there, no, they don't have anybody. They don't. Hmm. Have, and this time around, boys, boys that do, you know, give a gift just like that. Mm. Especially the Game Boys. The Game Boys. Who are the Game Boys? The guys who, you know, browse. Okay. They do internet stuff. Yeah. So before they give you something, if you ask them something, they will demand for it. Yeah. And by the later, you know, maybe your notes will be circulating internet. And I don't want <laughs> that. I'm scared. Yeah. I think they don't. I'm scared. So 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 right now you think Ghana is very hard for women, the girls especially. Women, women, girls, young girls. You know, I call yesterday. I went to beach. You know, you will see small small girls mm -hmm. from let me say from from eleven eleven years born. Mm -hmm. They are smoking. Oh yeah. They are smoking. They are smoking, I'm telling you. They are smoking. I, I was watching and I'm asking myself that, hey, so these kids were never seen fun now. Hmm. I don't know how having my parents or maybe they don't have family. And see, what caused that? It's poverty, I'm sure, because they don't have. Yes. Hmm. But what, what now... <laughs> What is the solution to you? You are choosing to travel outside. Now let's come back to that. You are choosing. <laughs> hey, you are interested in that. Yes. But, but <laughs> you are interested in traveling outside just because yeah. Ghana is hard. Yeah. So how do you see Abruchi? How do you see outside? Like when you hear outside, you see it on TV. What makes you want to travel outside? You see, outside is different. You know, mm -hmm. right now I have something to do with my hand. Okay, okay. If okay. I get there, and maybe if I have small support, mm -hmm. why not? Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get someone. I'll do your hair. I'll do your nails. Maybe if I did it to all, mm -hmm. the person will go and oh, so they, oh, who did this to you? Okay, who did this for you? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, I have this person. You know, Obey introduced me. Yeah, recommend to you to people. Yeah. Obey, I am in the fine. Why not? But Ghana here, no. If I am an Okwamba, you can not appreciate. I appreciate. A big club to make this and oh, when I hear more on check. But mm. outside it's not like that. Outside the different. Mm. Outside because I have a lot. I can do your nose, I can do your head, your makeup, I can cook, you know. So I think the outside in the bob bob. Okay, so you think uh -huh, so in a nutshell, if you feel that outside you no know, there's there there's more support for people there's more who opportunity have opportunity as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which yeah. which which part of outside do you plan to go? Maybe. Or do you wish that you can go? Water, Canada, London, US, Australia, anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> why you not why, why, why you not mentioning Togo or Benin or <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it the Arab countries if I'm scared, I don't want to be an Arab country. Yeah, those 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 places I wouldn't even advise you to go there. Yeah, so even even Arab country, I'm scared. So mm. So so now you are telling me you are single, you're not working, you're trying to survive, and you are looking at leaving the country. So yeah. assuming, assuming that um somebody who, who is watching this video says, Hey Echo, um, I'm touched by the story of this lady and other ladies in Ghana, and I'm ready to help her maybe set up a business in Ghana help you, you know, open a, a shop or whatever. Or if you have anybody who says, hey, Echo, I love this girl's story. And I'm also single. I'm a man in the US, UK, Canada, whatever. And I would like to help her. And I know 
now let me let me just point this one out i know i've been talking to a lot of women you know out there men out there one time i had a call a one-on-one -on -one conversation with one man he said echo i need to find me an african wife but anyway that is by the way so i'm saying that if you have somebody who is willing to assist you whether to travel to work and get the support that you need or somebody who is ready to do that for you in ghana are you ready to accept that why not i'm ready mm -hmm. yeah really ready. why not <laughs> ever ready because the system is not supporting in ghana eh? the system is not systemic <laughs> so i'm ready <laughs> wow you are ready to to get anybody to support you yeah but but which even out of these two whether to set up in ghana okay so you are ready for any of them that comes any of them mm -hmm. okay anyway let me say uh, if, if i get the support let me say if i get the support in ghana here maybe later later one day one day i'll travel okay but 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 it's it's it's, it's traveling now your main your main thing i really know <laughs> <laughs> but but honestly okay let me let me also advise you on one thing traveling is good traveling to live outside ghana the opportunities as you are saying uh you know there are systems that will support you and everything but you also need to prepare from home you know money wise you know the weather here the people here, you know, here there, there's more. I'm, I'm, listen, let's stay positive. Let's stay positive. Because I tell everybody that you don't know where your destiny may be, right? Maybe yeah. should you even get someone to contact you right now or talk to you right now, things may change within the next minute, the, the next hour, the next month, or the next year. So it is, you know, if you see Sarah, no, if 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 you had one thing to say about life, Moro could be Biara, not getting job, not getting the support, financial issues and everything. What would be your final word to anybody who is watching all over the world? What would be your word to them? Yeah. What yes. I want to plead people. When you want to when you want to support someone, please, please don't demand anything. Maybe if the person knows say the I am no no. Or you okay ha. Later, later the person will come and pay you back. Okay. Definitely. You won't go for ya when you cry. Okay. You won't go for the shower cry. You have some people there. If you help them, uh, they remember you. Okay. Definitely. No matter what. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm telling everyone that if you want to support someone. Support the person with free mind, free heart. Okay. Especially we ladies. <laughs> if you are a man and you want to support us, please support support us with free mind, free mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. If or I have come over there, like a bit show, why not? <laughs> what well, about to go to your cup? Anything. <laughs> okay. What be a new panel for back and out from oh you for a while for me to die as time. Oh, I think the obi I will feel it. You understand? So obi got to my now. Oh, I will for example I work for the oh a call album or kind of day. Okay. I'm also mean pass run one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one day, you know, maybe I can cook for you. I okay. can wash for you. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe oh, that moment, and maybe we will have fun. Okay, okay. And that fun will lead us to something else. Something it's else. Normal. Yeah. Okay, okay. But okay. my nephew be chinching there. If you want, if you help someone, and the person should, you know, pay you with something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On any problem, Tessa, I have. Okay, okay. I, 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 I want uh -huh. go on, go on. Oh, you mom, oh, school. You know, someone can go to school, meet each other, catch and oh, 
like mami yo de na me mo max but mami yo de na me promote oh baby ya baby ya oh baby ya inti da ma na o kuti ya hen yen be safo mo no be safo but ka yeah yen be safo but da ma zo no kuti him seriously okay it's not easy i know i know i mean uh do, do, have you ever spoken to any foreigner before any any no. lady who's a foreigner and maybe for her to share what they also go through there you've not no okay yeah. okay so so uh if you're watching me right now uh wherever you're watching us from this is an african sister born and in, and in, in, in raised in ghana uh she's sharing the, the the difficulties that we go through as ghanaians and as ladies in ghana so if you're watching this and then you want to connect with her maybe hey i like your style. i want to be your friend i want to know what you go through i also want to learn i'll be willing to connect you with her just you know we, like i said i am looking at all of us learning together so that we can bridge that gap now you've heard what african sisters go through in the house or in ghana after school you need to find a work uh -huh. now let me ask you this question do you think that the government should provide more jobs for people yes yes, mm -hmm. yes. they need to mm -hmm. it's very very important because yeah. As I'm talking to you, because of free education, mm -hmm. even when you come out to cry now, I'm not quite the worst. Mm. Like, oh, no. One, a friend went to it was JHS. Right. And then I got SS because on Tiashi, a friend of the best thing I got on Tiashi. And so, other than I'm not in a school, I'm not about out. I mean, if one question is, yeah. Because you know, say I've been, I've been working at radio station. I've done media work before. Yes. Yes. Me, you know, they demand something. Someone wants to manage you, but later on, oh, let me sleep with you before. You know, our media work, especially, mm -hmm. especially media work. Even hmm. my concerts, do. I mean, bro, I want to be on the problem. Yeah. Director, director will demand for something. <laughs> and then and then and then and then the DJ whoever every everybody will demand for something. When it comes to media plus for media, media I don't know how to industry, the media industry. The media uh -huh. industry as a whole. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Where the man don't know baby, but media. They want to media. go there before they give you the job. <laughs> And by the time I want to you know, I come. You know, like career now, when I want to prove to people, you know, yeah, I said, I say because in a oh, this girl like celebrates when you know, I did direct and you know, I did. I asked him, um, then my yarra can I say, I, I, I'm, I'm trying my best to. For, for all of us to educate ourselves. And meda sede in the inyambe abba na yakasafa dam nzeme I mean, the issues that women are facing uh, in Ghana. I know you are not the only one, like you mentioned, most of the girls, because there's no job. So if there's no job, you need to survive. If you need to survive, you need money. And it is assumed that men have money. So you have to go to a man, and the man will ask you for. A, B, C, D, and you two are not ready for X, Y, Z. So it's it's <laughs> it's 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 very difficult. Anyway, is there anything you want to say for the last before we end this? Or you're okay? What I want to say is, I really need support. Okay. I really need support, and with the who who, who followers, everyone mm -hmm. watching us. Like, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing. So um, if you're watching this, we're going to end this right now. I would, I have her contact. Like she said, she's open to be friend. I mean, even females who want to support, give her ideas and say that, hey, um, and that is, that is the basics of what we are doing for us to learn, connect 
and then support each other in a way. So thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I'll be bringing you more of such interviews from Africa, Ghana specifically. Peace out. Mm -hmm.